What's up everybody, Coach Tickety here, and today we're gonna to be talking about player mentality, and more specifically, the mentality you should be adopting if you want to be carrying more of your games. So this is gonna be a little bit different than some of our other videos. We're not gonna be looking at specific things you're doing in game, but more about what should be going on in your brain while you're playing. So let's get into it. The first thing that you need to remember when you're trying to improve in game, or at any skill at all really, is that consistency is key. This means that as a player, you shouldn't be measuring your skill level by the very best best you've ever played or by the very worst you've ever played. Those kinds of things will affect an individual game, but shouldn't take much hold over the overarching progress of your journey as a player. So while those 5k play of the games might feel great and maybe feeding your brains out feels bad, keep in mind that you're focusing on the big picture here. Try to visualize a ruler that represents your skill level as a player. On one end of the ruler is the worst you've ever played, and on the other end is the best you've ever played. In order to improve, we're not trying to push the good end of the ruler way off into the distance so that it expands into infinity, we're actually trying to shorten the ruler while keeping it towards the higher end. Meaning that any bad games you have don't look that different from your best games. In practice, this usually means you should be focusing on big problems first before trying to learn smaller, higher end skills. So focus on the things that are holding you back before you try and learn new techs or new heroes or things like that. And the best way to practice this way when you're queuing into comp is to treat all of your games the same. You're going to be in games that feel completely unwinnable and you're going to have games that are on the other side that feel completely unlosable that you don't even need to try in. You need to treat these games exactly the same as a player. You should be trying to play as hard as you can, you shouldn't be slacking off, and you shouldn't be giving up if you want to build that consistency. My next piece of advice for improving your mentality is to take blame for everything. No matter what happens in your games, no matter how frustrating it feels or how bad the loss is, you should always be asking yourself, what more could I have done? What can I be learning from this situation, in other words? Now, to be perfectly honest, even the best players in the world are, of course, going to be losing games. It's a team-based game, after all, there's only so much one individual can do, and even the best players in the world make mistakes. But what makes them the best players in the world is that they're always learning from those mistakes, and they're minimizing the amount of times it happens in the future. So try to look back at those frustrating games and ask yourself, what more could I have done to give myself an edge? And the next time it happens, the next time you're in one of those bad games, you might have a few more options that give you more control. And if you're having trouble learning from your own replays, try to get an outside perspective. Ask some of your friends to go over your gameplay together, learn off of each other's playstyles, or even just watch streams of high-level players who are playing the same characters or roles as you are. These are great resources that you can learn from. And of course, you can be looking out for videos just like this one on the Game Leap YouTube, or better yet, signing up for a membership at GameLeap.com. Over on our site, you'll find hundreds of guides made by top-level coaches that'll help you improve at any level of the game. So whether you're just getting started or really trying to make that push on the top 500 leaderboard, I promise we've got something over there that can help you on your journey. Videos like this can help you when you just need some advice to get focused on your next game, but if you really want to go in depth and really target your improvement, then signing up on the website is definitely your best way to go. So click the link below to get your membership started today. My next piece of advice is to stop expecting things from your teammates. Now, of course, I'm not saying that you should just ignore them completely, but what I mean here is that you shouldn't expect them to perfectly follow up every single one of your plays or even just to hit every single shot they're taking. Not every person on your team will be thinking about the same things that you are, and most of them probably won't even be seeing the same things that you are. So even if you're playing with a well-coordinated group of teammates who are all communicating perfectly and pinging and doing all the things right, things will go wrong. Players will get distracted, individuals will get outplayed, or just straight up people will miss shots. It happens. Go on to the next fight and don't expect perfection. If you often find yourself without teammates around you to support you, make sure you're asking yourself if you're doing enough to make sure they can help you. Are you going in too early? Are you playing too far away from them? Did you take note of what their sight lines were? There's always things that are in your control that you can be looking for that don't rely on perfect teammates. And more important than anything here is to not get frustrated with your teammates. If you're one of the players who thinks you're an elo hell and everyone you queue into is garbage and it's all their fault, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Believe it or not, the majority of people you're queuing with want to win the game. They're just not playing the same way you are, so don't try to force them to be different and don't expect more than they can provide to you. Play your own game, play to win, play to carry, but don't get frustrated at them. And on the other side of things, my next piece of advice is to give your enemies the respect that they deserve. 
when you first load into a game of Overwatch, one of the first things you should be looking to do is identifying all the heroes that the enemy team is playing. From there, you should mold your playstyle around the potential of the enemy's kits. Just by knowing their heroes, you should know what they're capable of, what ranges they play at, what abilities they have, and so on. Now, of course, like we've already talked about with teammates, not every player is going to reach that maximum potential that heroes offer. But if we don't respect that potential, it's a great way to give up an early advantage and potentially get yourself killed out of nowhere. Over the course of the game, you'll learn about player habits and try to push them as far as you can, limit testing in other words, but we need to start at a base level and we need to make sure we are capable of that respect before we try to push the envelope of getting aggressive and outplaying them. And like I said, you only want to give them the respect that they deserve. If they're playing poorly, if they're wasting cooldowns, standing out in the open, go in to punish that. Just make sure you don't need them to play that way to find success. One of the things that makes this concept so important to keep in mind is that as you're improving as a player, as you're climbing up the rankings, you'll be going up against better players as well. If the only thing we know how to do is punish bad players and we're not capable of showing respect to good players, then we will quickly hit a ceiling on our skill level and we won't be able to move forward. But if you learn to play with respect, you'll be able to go toe to toe with any opponent. My next piece of advice is arguably the most important one on this list, and that's to make sure you don't linger on any of your losses. Even if you happen to be the best player in the world, you still won't win every single one of your games. A lot of this is out of your control. And regardless of that, even if you are underperforming in your games, there is always a path forward where you can pick yourself up and do better next time. You need to adopt a GG go next attitude in any of these frustrating or losing situations and not let it affect the way you approach the next game you play or even just individual situations. If something goes wrong in your game, don't let it affect the next team fight. Like we've already mentioned, it's very important to try and learn anything you can from these losing situations or any mistakes you make, but the difference here is that you can't let it affect your mentality. You shouldn't be thinking about the game any differently just because you lose a game or two. Keep in mind that improvement takes time. You're gonna have to grind these things out. You're not gonna pick up a new skill one day and expect to have it mastered by the next. So whatever you're working on, be patient with yourself. Give yourself the time to actually improve in these areas. It might take you weeks, months, or even years to master some of these concepts. But getting stressed and trying to rush your success and expecting every game to go perfectly is not the way forward. So anytime you feel yourself getting too frustrated with bad teammates or the matchmaking system or just feel like you're having an off day, take a break. Play some unranked or arcade games just to have fun or even just step away from your screens altogether and give yourself a break from the game. You might even try this technique I saw posted online somewhere called touching grass, although I'm not sure how that one works exactly myself. Just keep in mind that it's all about time and patience. It's not about getting to your desired rank or improving at your specific skill, it's about weathering the journey and getting past all the obstacles that are in your way. Player mentality is one of the harder topics to talk about in a video like this, since every player will have different backgrounds, experience, and goals when it comes to improving at the game. I hope the advice in this video lands with you in some way and gives you a path forward to helping you learn some things outside of just raw mechanics or interactions in the game that might make you a better player. But if you are looking for more targeted feedback just like that, then you should head over to GameLeap.com. No matter what you're looking for or what kind of resources you need to improve, Game Leap has it all. Over on the site, we've got hundreds of guides made by top level coaches and more being added every single week. So no matter what skills you're working on, you'll find something there to help you improve. And don't forget to use the code on screen for 50% off your subscription when you sign up today. So what are you waiting for? Click the link below to get your membership started. And that's going to be all from me today, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.